Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can put the class tools random name picker into your classroom blog. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm at the class tools random name picker and let's go and edit this quickly. And we'll change out some of the names here or we can add another name. I'm gonna add Mason Byrne. I'm gonna add Isla down here. All right, so we're going to use that list now. And let's save it. And we'll now put in a password so we can go back and edit this later if we need to. We'll just use something simple like password for now. And now we have our own specific URL for our random name picker. So if you need to go back in and edit this later, perhaps a new student comes to your classroom or someone drops out of your class, uh, you can go in and you can edit there. But I wanna put this in my classroom blog. So let's hit the share embed option and let's get the embed code. And we'll grab the code here. And now in Blogger, I'll go in and I'm going to create a page that I keep this on. So we're going to go to this blog and we'll select pages. And we'll create a new page. And we'll call it name selection. And in the HTML, I'll just paste in that random name picker. And we'll dismiss that error and publish this. And now we'll view it. And there's our random name picker. Now the error that we had a second ago was indicating that it was a little bit too big for this space allowed in the blog column itself. So what we'll do is we'll go back in here and we'll edit this and we can change the height and the width. You see those numbers there. So let's make the width uh, 575 and we'll make the height 550. Now we'll update that. And now let's view the new version of it. And we can see that now it fits in that column just fine. We can click to spin. displayed. And if you want to remove that from the wheel because it's already been used once, you can click remove. And you can always go back in on your page here and edit the list as you need to if you want to put names back in after you used them up. So that's one way that you can put the class tools random name picker into your classroom blog. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.